Because 7 is news. Channel 7 News, live at 5. A proposed law that would prevent the naming of public buildings in honor of living public officials has been put on hold after heated testimony at the Capitol this morning. House Bill 1035 was tabled in committee by a vote of 15 to 4. Ann Presley has more. So what's really in a name? One state representative says when it comes to naming buildings for elected officials, it's all about taxpayer money. There's something I think really is of concern to, to many everyday people, although they don't quite put it this way, um, when they see someone in the prime of life being honored by having a building named after them. And it really is a little too close for me to having a building that's almost like a temple built for someone with public funds. Representative Dan Greenberg told the state agencies and governmental affairs committee that a person should be deceased 10 years before a building is named in his or her honor. That has not been the trend lately, as still living politicians are immortalized on structures statewide. The Willie Hinton Neighborhood Resource Center was named for the city director while he was still in office. Hinton passed away Tuesday night. An amendment offered to the committee by Representative Steve Harrelson would make House Bill 1035 retroactive by five years, essentially requiring the renaming of all of these buildings, including the Hinton Resource Center. The purpose of this amendment is to go to the heart of what uh, is being, being presented here. I don't want to dance around the issue. I want to take this thing head on.